Hi everyone, I'm Elizabeth, and today we will be analyzing a crime scene through DNA analysis. Crime is at an all-time high in the hamster community, and it's up to us to help bring justice for hamsters. At this crime scene, the hamster family's house was broken into. A single fur strand was found at the crime scene. The victim is Hambu the hamster. His alfalfa was stolen. The suspects include Hammy the hamster, Hammy's daughter Oob the hamster, his neighbor Felicia the ferret, or his other neighbor Rita the rabbit. A single DNA sample from each individual along with the evidence was amplified for two separate VNTR loci and were run on gels to create DNA fingerprints. In VNTR locus 1, we can see that the sample does not match Hambu as the alleles do not line up. Hammy's and Rita's alleles also do not line up with the sample alleles, making them not matches either. Felicia's and Oob's sample alleles line up with the first sample, so this causes for some suspicion. In VNTR locus 2, we can see that Hambu and Hammy are still in the clear as their alleles do not line up with the sample. In this VNTR locus, we can see that Rita and Oob match the sample as their alleles match it with the sample. Oob's DNA sample alleles have lined up with both VNTR loci. Since Oob's DNA sample matches the fur found at the crime scene, we can conclude that Oob is the culprit for Hambu's missing alfalfa. Case closed. Another thing I would like to note is the similarity in Oob's and Hammy's alleles. Since Hammy is Oob's father, we can see that one of Hammy's alleles matches with one of Oob's alleles in both DNA fingerprints. This is because parents always give one allele to their offspring, and if Oob's mother was in this lineup, we would notice that she would have a matching allele with Oob just like her father.